The epilogue is a kind of return, if you like, to a safe haven, uh, coming back in the evening, perhaps from the dangers at sea. Uh, and so it's a kind of uh, return to the enfolding arms, if you like, the safety of Vancouver Harbour, as it was for James, but for uh, the rest of us in a more metaphorical sense, uh, back to the enfolding arms of perhaps uh, uh, some divine presence, uh, perhaps if not that, then a kindly providence. It depends very much what we all believe in and we all seek our own meanings in those ways. So the final section of the piece is valedictory. Uh, it's a, a, a kind of blessing. Uh, and the, the mezzo-soprano soloist sings uh, words from the Carmina Gadelica, and that's a, an anthology of Celtic blessings and prayers. Um, many of them will be familiar actually to listeners, I think. Um, but I've taken just a few lines from those, um, and they were anthologized in the last decades of the 19th century by Alexander Carmichael, um, and then uh, published in 1900, and they've been since republished with annotations by various scholars, um, including quite recently Esther de Val. And so the final section has the mezzo-soprano soloist singing these blessings over the words um, from some of the words from the opening of the work and there is a recurrence of musical material uh, sung very very quietly by the chorus and so the work ends extremely gently uh, and it ends with um, again where, a, a place where rather than the mot juste I needed the, the right chord and I couldn't think how to end this uh, for a long time what, what the, the final sound should be and then I recalled my oratorio, The Cloud of Unknowing, which uh, is a work I wrote in 2005. And then I was also looking for a chord which seemed to encapsulate that very phrase, the title phrase, The Cloud of Unknowing. Um, and the chord, again, is one which has many conventional elements. It has the elements of an ordinary D minor chord in it, but it has other things in it. It has something like this. And that seemed very subjectively, I suppose, to convey to me something of that uh, never-ending, disconsolate mystery of the sea, especially as you take your leave of it. Uh, and so that's really how the work pans out. It's a kind of arch shape with the apex coming with that climax I mentioned, that gong stroke. Uh, and that's the, the, the end of the whole work.